It's Neil to throw first for the ball. That's a ball tie. It's outside the ball. First leg, it's Neil to throw first. Game on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2022 Winmore World Masters here in the wonderful De Bontevever in Assen in the Netherlands. 60. First time that the World Masters has left British shores. And what a venue that we have here for this tournament. And it is the first of our men's round robin matches. 55. This one comes from Group 2. And it is between Bjorn Leon of Sweden. 180. And the man who just hit the maximum, the 2022 Lakeside WDF World Champion, the Duff man himself, Neil Duff. I'm joined once again in the comms by Marco Meyer. Good game to start us off here, Marco. Yes, definitely. And Neil, for the occasion, has a nice orange shirt on. Yes, because it's in Holland. Oranje. Oranje. Oranje Bogen. And he is well in front in this first leg. So, the first 60. 64 games are playing, and it's quite a, well, I wouldn't say surprise, but on board one, Jelle Klaassen is already 2-0 down. Yep, 2 0 down to Northern Irishman Simon Dunn. Very good player himself, so when he's showing it, beating the number one seed two legs to nil. We have Kai Fan Loon, one leg up. Alexander Merckx is 2 0 up on Northern Ireland's Darren Clifford. 26. Neil Luke Littler, 2 1 up on Gilbert Humbley. Fifty-five, And I see something here which has, uh, well, not confused me, but unsettled me. Jeffrey de Graaf playing under the, the Swedish flag. Yes, he does. He's living in Sweden for a couple of years now. 64. Neil, you require 106. Of course, played under the flag of the Netherlands for most of his career. 58. Neil Duff did a good setup shot to leave 48 when he returns. See what Bjorn can do if he can put a bit of pressure on. I can tell you that Yellow Klassen has got a leg back in that match against Simon Dunn. 42. 2 1 now to the Northern Neil Irishman. 48. So let's see what Neil Duff does on 48. He goes fat 16. And game double 16. The Sweet Neil as Duff. the proverbial nut Second for the world champion. Throw first. Game he on. takes. The first leg of this one. Again, looking up the, the matches that are being played. James Richardson currently 2-0 down. 85. Denny Aldi Calter is 2-0 up. David Kerwin finds himself 2-1 down. Aaron Turner leading 1-0. Anthony Allen leading 2-1. James Hurrell 60. is down 2-1. Danny Lowby is 2-0 up. Dave Ladley has just gone 2-0 up. Sean McDonald and Mike Gillett both winning one leg to nil. Moreno Blom won all at the moment with Steve Warnock 38. from Canada. Andy Battens has taken the first leg in his match. Nick Kenny has lost the first leg of his match. 100. That's the beauty about Dark Connect that you can see all the boards at the same time. You can see all the results. You can find your favorite players. In your own country, yeah, it's really easy to find the results. Gary Stone leading 1 0 at the moment. 39. And Ryuki Morikubo of Japan wins the first leg of his match. Old acquaintance of ours, Marco. 85. Yes. It's a big group from Japan this year. Yes, indeed, there is. So a good few of the Japanese ladies taking part this morning and early this afternoon. Of course, now the, ch the time for the men to take to the hockey. 
as the men's world masters kicks off 100 and a workmanlike performance so far from neil duff and we have our first winner it looks like from the men's competition as alexander merckx has defeated darren clifford by four legs to nil yeah alexander won two ranking 100. titles this year neil including one in lithuania and one in swiss So he has the first result on the board. 100. So Bjorn at the moment can't find this scoring power that he needs to bring Neil Duff in trouble. Yellow class is three to up at the moment. Neil, you require 56. Yep, uh, good recovery from Yella. Neil missed the 16 here, so you only have one dart at tops. Uh, and, he needs one. and he leg. gets it, Neil so Duff. two and a half Third leg, for the Neil world champion. First game on. It's always nice for the seeded players if you win your first one. Well, it's not that far yet, but it's looking good for the men from Norrnaar. Norrnaar. 60. Jürgen van der Velde is playing Mike Gillett. That's a really difficult group. Also Lee Schoen is in that group, I believe. Wow. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck in the draw. Indeed. 60. Richard Veenstra, 2-1 up on Marvin van Velten. Sixty. Gary Stone has doubled his lead. He's now 2-0 up. Now you can see it in the back that the other boards are all playing. 64 boards in the men's competition at the moment. 140. Good score from Bjorn here. Jelle Klaassen won his game in the final leg. He hits a 13 data. 95. So with an 87 average, is his first match on the res belt. Yeah, fantastic come from behind victory for the former world champion. Anthony Allen threw four legs to one. Denny Oldie Calter threw four legs to nil. So the results starting to filter through. Andy Johnson through. Luke Lissler, as I say, through. Of the matches that have been completed so far, Andrew Johnson has the highest average, 98 and a half. There you had a nice shot that you can see at least half of the venue. Hopefully the director here is. Yes, what a beautiful shot. So a lot of people can sit there. Other people are in the big practice area, and most of the players are marking and, of course, playing 80. the games at the moment. Bjorn, you require 100. So it's a good, good luck from Bjorn. Let's see what he can do with 100. It's for a break up throw as well. Tops for a 14 data. Oh, Ooh. good grief. Good grief. 68. He's leaving double 16 when he returns, if he returns, because Neil is on 146. And Bjorn is coming back for double 16. 45. Bjorn, you require 32. We've had an Andrew Johnson win his first game. Darren Johnson has also won his first game. And as Bjorn goes for double eight. No score. And he's bust. David Carwin just Neil moves 3 2 up as we look at Neil Duff going for 101. Shot still on, treble 20 would leave double 19. No, can't do it this time. 77. That's a great last start though. Keeps the pressure on. So, double 16 once again. Double 8. No. 16. It's so many shots that came. Back in a match. Neil, you require 24. But Neil is back for double 12 and a 3 now lead. Double 6. Double 3. No. 21. Bjorn, you require 16. French superstar Thibaut Tricol is currently 3 1 down to American Robbie Phillips. Game shot in the third leg. Bjorn After Leon. a couple of missed darts, he finally gets it. And it was a break of throw. Leg. It's Bjorn to throw first. 
game on. Even if it was a 23 daughter, it doesn't matter. Yeah, still a break of throw, so he's back in the match. Let's and see if he can find the scores, what he did the leg before. Andy Barton's through four legs to nil. 40. Mark Barilli has taken the first leg of his opening match. Eighty-five. Sean McDonald wins his first match 4-0, as does Alexander Masek of the Czech Republic. James Hurdle is 3-0, 3-2 down at the moment. Number three seeds, I believe. 135. 3-2 down to Norwegian Kent Joran Sievertsen. Tom van den Hogen of the Netherlands wins his first match 4-1. Yeah, he lives in the Hague. 77. And he plays in the team with a couple of famous the Hague people in the Super League. I don't have to explain who I think. <laughs> 60. But he's from that area. One of the biggest Dutch cities in Holland. Where it all started. Indeed. And a certain postman took the world by storm. Yes. And he also won this famous trophy. 99. Mm. Ninety-seven. So, Anthony, is now a couple of times you've been into the Bonta Weaver, but now it's a complete different atmosphere than it was than it was in the weekend four of the year, let's call it that. It's yeah. different, is it? It is very different. Um, still fantastic, though. Obviously, it's a magnificent venue, magnificent event. But, yeah, it's, we are just not seeing the place as busy as it usually is because you've usually got a few thousand people all over the place. 99. We usually have the party tent in full January swing outside. Yeah, it's really, we had the official meeting last night and the director said it's really weird because we only with a few people of officials. Yeah. And everybody is really chilled because they're used to run tournaments with 4,000 people. So this is 15% of the people. So yeah. everybody's like, Game the fourth it's an easy leg. weekend. Bjorn Leon. As Bjorn Leon takes the fourth leg. Fifth leg. It's Neil to throw Desmond first. in this Game one, 2-2. Two, two. I can tell you that James Hurrell has lost his first match to the Norwegian Kent Joran Sievertsen. 41. Four legs to two, the score in that one. Yeah, the top two go through from every group, so still possible, of course. Yep, but still plenty to play for. 100. Really, sorry, carry on. A really good match at the moment between Mike Gillett and Jurgen van der Velde. Mike Gillett is 3 2 up at the moment. It's a quality match. You can all find it on Dart Connect, of course. Chris Landman has won his first match 4 0. Danny Lowby got through 4 0. Kai Fan Lung has won his first match 4 0. Richard Weinstra wins his first match 4 2. 140. But there's so many results you can't even you yeah. can't even say them all because there's 64 boards at the moment. And the Swedish Dutchman Jeffrey de Graaf has won his first match 4 0. The Swedish Dutchman. Yes. I love that. Or well, the Dutch Swede, one or the other. 32. I think it's a Dutch Swede. <laughs> it looks nice. Mm. And no duff. 100. In front in this one, won the first two legs and sort of fell asleep, legs three and four, but starting to find his way again as... 100. Bjorn fires in another ton. 120. So, Shanghai in the 20s for Duff. Treble for double. No, not to be this time, so you'll just put on some 100. pressure and he will leave double ten upon his return. Rickard Tingval of Sweden has defeated Martin Turner of England by four legs to three. 
And I see, just looking into the results, 44. normally Anthony is in charge of Neely it, but I see 20. the 2012 World Champion is warming up at the moment. Christian Guest. Oh, yes. No school. He came as a qualifier in 2011, and a couple of months later he won the world title. What a fantastic lakeside that was for Christian Kist. A certain man to my right called him home as world champion 29. that fateful Sunday. Neil, you require 20. Yeah. Against Tony O'Shea, the legend. Yep. And Neil Duff just cannot seem to hit a no double score. at the moment. That's two yeah, throws back to back. He has. Now he is a bit, let's say, lucky is maybe the wrong word. That Bjorn mm. couldn't find his scores, but he did yeah. earlier in the match. Otherwise, he's in big trouble. Because Neil Duff had 21 darts 59. now. It's now definitely 20. time to hit one. Game and he finally listened to us. Yep. And, he is, and he's 3 2 up. First. Game he has stopped the Bjorn onslaught. And restores his lead, three legs to two. Averaging 74 60. at the minute. And we, we know he's a much, much better player than that. But to be fair, in the group stages, averages don't really count. No. You need to win 30. at least two out of three. And that's what they're all thinking. They don't think about 80 or 90 or 100 averages. You want the quickest possible four legs on the board and carry on with the other two or three matches because 55. most of the groups are four. And the top two go through, same with the ladies, to the knockouts. 140. It's a, it's a nice 140 from Neil here. So he's already in the front in the leg from Bjorn. Groups 22, 26, and 28 have seen victories for Scottish gentlemen in their first matches. David Kerwin, Gary Stone, and Sean McDonald all registering victories there. I said it before the tournament. But I really think that Gary Stone is, well, maybe one of the favourites to go really far in this tournament. Yeah, he's been playing some great darts recently, has Gary. Plenty of good match practice as well at the Loda Super Series. Sixty. Nick Kenny yeah, currently three now three each with Remy Williamson of Northern Ireland. Another good lag from Bjorn. It's on one oh six to make it three all so treble eighteen. Shots yes, on, double for 16. For double 16, to make it 3 Oh, all. yes. Leg, Bjorn Leon. Neil Duff is looking into the sky, but Seven he needs to find leg. a few good darts. Game on. He is the Duff man to throw first in the seventh leg. Yeah, that's the bit of advantage he has, but he needs, he needs to start with a couple of good scores, and that's one, one of them. Excellent start from the world champion. He's only averaging 73 at the moment, so... He needs to do a lot better if he wants to progress in the group. 60. One hundred. Quality last dart from Neil Duff. I just saw a name that I haven't seen for a very long time at a darts tournament. Jimmy Van Schke, is that the extremely tall chap? Sixth That's day. probably the tallest player in the tournament. Yeah. Yes. He's about 17 foot three. <laughs> <laughs> he played in the youth competitions in Holland a couple of years ago. He also played at the famous 84. Zyderdijn stage at the Fender Darts Masters. Yep. That was always this weekend of the year. But unfortunately, that tournament is not there anymore. What a fantastic replacement we have in the Windmill World 100. Masters in Holland. Yep, couldn't agree more. It's nice to see so many people from all over the world, especially after COVID. Some of, some of the people you didn't see for 91. three, four years, so it's really nice. 
Quality lag by Neil Dove, by the way. Yep, he's he on 86 after 12. Fantastic stuff from Duff. Neil, you require 86. So, treble 18, first port of call. Another one of those would leave the bully. Doesn't have to go that way, though. Treble 20 for double four. Single 16 would leave double 16. Or eight six. would leave tops. And let's see what Bjorn can do. To put a bit of pressure on. And that tops from Neil Duff. He needs at least... Well, another one would be really nice to put some pressure on. And I wasn't talking about the fives. Neil, you require 40. So that's tops for the world champ. Double 10 now in the double trouble. Is it still there? Oh dear. Double five. So Bjorn 30. comes back for 101. Bjorn, you require 101. He has to hit one treble with the first two darts. Let's see which way he goes. That's the one. So travel 20 for tops. He just missed it. 81. So Neil is Neil coming back for double 10. five. He needs to hit it. And hit it, Kay. he does. Shot and the match. And Neil Duff. He won't mind me saying this. He's got away with that one there, to be honest. That's not a Neil Duff performance that we're used to seeing. But nevertheless, 74.2 average means that Neil Duff wins the first match on the stage. Four legs to three.